Good afternoon everybody, my name is Matt, otherwise known as Chewy, and today I'm going to be bringing you a long-awaited video. A lot of my viewers on Twitch have been asking me to make this video for a while, and I finally got some time to do it, so I thought I'd make it now. Uh, as you can see today, we're actually on the ground here. Um, uh, we're on P3D version 3.2, we're at the Aerosoft Helsinki um, airport add-on. And I'm in the PMDG 737 uh, with the Air Berlin livery from John Tavendale or Tavers. And we've just completed a flight on stream actually from Vienna to Helsinki and parked up here. And so I thought I would show you guys all of my settings. Everybody's been asking and wants to know what my settings are. And uh, I'm going to show you the settings that I've got in the simulator. So in prepared itself, I'm going to show you my easy dock profile. And I'll also share my easy dock profile so you guys can have it yourself. I'll also very quickly cover my Active Sky Neck settings, just a few of them, I won't go through every one. And then we'll also have a look at my Rex, Texture Direct and Soft Cloud settings as well. So to start off here with Prepared, let's just go into Settings and have a look. So you can see here that it displays for my NVIDIA GTX, GTX 970, that is my graphics card. And we've got the resolution on 1920x1080 with 32 there as well. At the minute, I've got FXAA off. MSA, MSAA is four samples. Uh, Antistotropic. Um, anti oh my gosh, I can't even talk right now. Uh, filtering is two times at the second. And then we've got our texture resolution at 4096 times 4096 VSync is on at the second. Um, and our target frame rate is unlimited. We um, only have the MIP map VC panels here, and we've got the hardware tessellation. For scenery, we have basically everything on max here for the terrain levels. Um, water bathymetry, the water detail is high. I'm actually going to pop that into mold, um, ultra at the minute because high, I'm not actually too keen on it. I, like It's not looking too great for me at the second, so I'm going to move that up to ultra, but um, you can run it on high and it still looks okay. I'm just really picky over these things. Scenery, objects, things are a bit further down on the list here. So very dense, dense and normal. They're just what seem to be working for me at the minute um, and that's absolutely fine. And then special effects details, I don't really see too much of the point of them. Maybe they, they do have an effect on things but medium and low is fine for me with my current uh, hardware settings lighting wise here's my brightness bloom and saturation levels there for you guys nothing too crazy about all of them but i do use hdr lighting the shadow quality is low again don't really need anything too much but even with the shadow quality being low the shadows do still look very very good especially on the pmdg 737 and you can see the cast distance with both of them here uh, for weather, I've got a very low cloud draw distance, and that's because I've been reala realizing my performance has really been going down the drain recently with Active Sky Next. It's fine when I'm not streaming, but I'm usually flying when I'm streaming, and so therefore I've been really struggling to have good cloud density right now. I don't quite know why and if there's any way I can fix that, but at the minute it's very low. It's only on 70 miles, and we've got a medium coverage density there. We do have volumetric uh, fog as well. Um, in terms of traffic, there's only like road vehicles, ships and ferries and leisure boats here. Everything else is turned off whatsoever because in terms of like aviation traffic, we just have what's on Vatson basically. Um, there's not really too much here that I can show you guys in terms of like the general settings and the sound settings. This is all relatively normal. There's no failures and controls or anything like that. So those are my settings for P3D. And just before I go any further, I just want to say here guys that I'm not saying that these are the best settings. I'm not saying that this is recommended for your hardware and your setup. I just had a lot of people ask me recently what settings I use. So this is just what I use. You're more than welcome to try these out. If they don't work for you, change them, change them. Right, anyway, let's go and have a look at the scenery library because this is something else that I also wanted to highlight. As you can see, I've got a list of all of my... Um, airports that we've got here so we've got hong kong that's a new one that i've just come in we've got leipzig, leipzig here sorry i said leipzig earlier on on stream and got killed for it um, and we've got a list of all of the other ones i popped all of the fly tampa sceneries together um including vienna which i just got today and i'm really impressed with but the main thing that i wanted to show you guys here is something that i learned from durka durka who's another um flight simulator streamer and it's basically the ordering so as you can see i've got all of the add-on sceneries at the top of the priority list here you can see the priority numbers as they go down and if you're running Orbex, I'm actually running Orbex uh, OpenLC Europe. I'm also running the um, the base uh, Orbex um, like global layer and then vector as well. So below the final uh, add-on scenery here, which is the Orbex uh, Stockholm Arlanda or ESSA um, scenery, I've got all of the OpenLC um, 
different sections here, followed by the base layer, as you can see there. And then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom and below Africa and be and, and above, sorry, the 1107 base is where I put my vector four files here. This is what Durka Durka suggested and it helped me when I had some land class issues the other week when I first installed Vector. So that's how I have my scenery library set up with all of the add-ons on the top. Okay, uh, it's just going to reload something there and I didn't actually want it to do that to be quite honest with you so I have no idea. There we go. Okay, it's just going to reload the scenery objects but that's no worries whatsoever. What I can do whilst it's just doing it's that, it show you my easy doc. So this is my 737 profile. I have three profiles that I'm going to share with you guys and uh, there will be a Dropbox link where you can download them all. It comes with all of the views that you'll need. You can edit them as you like. It will come with all of the different virtual cockpit views. So you've got the captain's view and everything. Hopefully when the stream, when the... Um, uh, when the simulator loads again, I'll be able to show you. And it's also got some views for the outside as well. Here we go. So if we go into the captain's view, you'll be able to see the captain. If I switch over to the MCP, it switches over the overhead panel, so on and so forth. And also if we go outside, you can see that I'm switching here. So this is the, the wing view right view and the wing view left view as well. It will also come with effects for you guys. So if you go into the captain's view, you will see the three effects here. RN, D, DHM and CR are all selected. There will be separate files. And if you want to install these, all you need to do is right click on it, go to file, full effect import, and then it'll bring across another screen and then you find the file. So this one is uh, created by the amazing uh, VATSIM controller, Lewis Bell. He gave these for me and kindly said that I could give it to you guys. And there'll be separate links so you can download my EasyDoc profiles, which will give you all of these different um these different views and then there'll be a second link where you can download Lewis's effects and you just need to right click on each of those red sections go full effect import and then it will give you the file to install there so that's my easy doc anyway let's quit out of the simulator because that's all I need to show you in there for now and we can also quit out of easy doc and prepared as a whole so here's um active sky next now there are loads of options here what i'm going to say before i show you any of these settings is that if you want to know what any of my specific settings are so if you want to know what more like if we say visibility options and maximum upper visibility is if i don't show you that now which i won't feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and say hey matt what's your setting for this individual option and i'll be sure to reply to you what i will show you is my cloud settings because this is the thing that seems to be quite a play quite to um plays a big factor it's usually the clouds that affect my performance i've got the maximum cloud layers on as three the cloud turbulence is 50 the cloud icing is also set at 50 um, i've got this selected here to prevent the thunderstorms when cb is um, reported minimum cloud draw distance is actually 70 and the maximum is 80 now this could go a lot bigger you can see here that i mean like 150 is what active sky suggests is your complete maximum but i have them very low again just to help with my performance a little bit i have force bk bkn off I also have to enhance the overcast conditions off just because this will reduce performance as it highlights here. Um, I have the low cloud offset at zero and then I also have the high detail thunderstorm clouds off. I did have this on beforehand but again just for performance sake I turned it off. So um, I mean I could show you all of the rest of the options here but to be quite honest with you um, I really don't think... <coughs> Whoa that was a good sneeze. I was trying to hold it back. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that I should really edit that out, but I haven't got the time. I just want to get this video out there. Rip headphone users. Um, but there are plenty more options here that I could show you guys. I mean, if I just flick through these really quickly. But if you really want to know what any of these settings are fully, make sure to leave a question in the comment section and I'll tell you. I'm sorry that I'm just glazing over this one quickly, but hey ho. The final settings things that I'm going to show you guys now is my Rex4 Texture Direct and Soft Cloud settings. This is currently the theme that I'm using now. I actually installed it for the first time today and really, really enjoyed it. I'm using Set16, which is the Wispy Cirrus for the, um, the mid, I think that's the low, or is it the medium cloud effects? I can't quite remember. We're using Soft Cloud Set26, something that we tried out today for the first time. I'm not 100% uh, sure if I like that, um, but again, we'll see. Set 04 for um, the thunderstorm effects. Sky colors for the dawn, we're using set 23, which is origin. We're using set 10, brisk, for the daytime. And then set 21, Aussie sea, for the dusk. I have to say, origin was incredible. We took off in the dawn earlier on when the sunrise was happening uh, out of Vienna. And it looked phenomenal. So I really like this set number 23. 
Sun effects, we have a 0, 7. Water effects, we have dark, shallow there, so that's set number 18. And we have the gradual wave um, effect, which is set 0, 9. For the airport lighting, I tried today cinematic and it looked awesome. First time using that and everybody in the stream was commenting how good the lighting looked, um, the, the lights on the runway and everything. And that's down to set two zero there. We've also got concrete set zero one. I usually put that grass, but I just try something different today. We've got 10 for asphalt heavy, 13 for concrete heavy. I, I prefer the, the heavy settings on the taxiway and the runway. And um, zero two worn there for the final one. In terms of the taxiways, we've got 06 for asphalt, 1 for concrete, and then 1 which is old and worn for the markings as well. I also do use another profile. I don't know if I can actually click on it right now and show you guys. Here we go. So here's the second one, and this is the profile that I've been using for quite a while. So I'll just run through these very, very quickly indeed. We've got 11, which is a very common one for the Cerro Stratus. 11 here again for Cumulus and the Feathered Bolt, which is 03. Sky Colors, we have 13, which is Vietnam, 16 for Countryside, and 23 for Dusk, which is Chili Frankfurt. I really like that Dusk, actually. I'm just trying something different just to vary things up, but that does look very good, that Chili Frankfurt. We've got 07 for the Sun Effects and Medium there, set 14 for the Water and Waves, with 07, the Clashing Waves, for that section. We've got Classic Glow, which I don't prefer to the cinematic. I think cinematic looks better. But if you want, guys want to try that out, that was what I was previously using, so 09. And the Freshly Cut um, for the ground textures here. Asphalt Heavy again. This time it's set 11 and set 7. And we've also got the same for the last one, set 0 to Warm. For the taxiways, it's 08 on asphalt, 06 on concrete. And again, just like in the previous theme that I showed you guys, it's 01. So if you guys want to, you know, copy my rec settings, you can do so. You can just click on the individual sections here, find the set that you want and uh, add it to the theme. And then once you've got all of these sections filled out, you can install it. As I said, I'm going to leave a... Um, a link uh, what do i need to do here cancel i need to um, click uh, you'll need to click a link even that will be in the description below which will give you a link to my easy doc profiles that you can download and also the easy doc um, settings so you can have a nice shaking effect when you take off and land and when you get turbulence as well they're really good and uh, again a big thank you to lewis bell for letting me use those and also for letting me upload those for you guys much appreciated to him anyway i'm sorry that this was kind of a long video it's 12 minutes long and that it was a rushed video i'm sorry that i didn't go into too much detail but everybody was kind of saying matt please can you get your settings video online and show me and um, what settings you're using for your setup i'll also leave a little description with what my hardware is so you can see what hardware what my pc rig is and what i'm using and um, the simulator on and i'll maybe leave a couple of screenshots as well links to some screenshots so you can see the kind of performance and how my simulator looks if you don't know already and haven't checked out the stream anyway i'm going to sign up for the night thank you so much for watching the video guys don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment as well and let me know what you thought of the video. See you again soon. Have a good night.